I'm Kathy Appala, and this is my poem, Going Home, inspired by Yagyasi's book, Homegoing. In Mame's arms, we touched palms. Palms pressing heartbeat against heartbeat, hearts beating in sync, a pulse of sisterhood. There, gone, fleeting, one night, black, 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 as if the whole sky was mourning, Nyame sketched fire. Fire blazing, fire spreading, fire burning, scars like fields, uncontrollable scars like cassava roots. Gnarled and thick, they wind their way through generations, separation, like small, soft hands fattened by lazy months in their mother's womb. Too young to know Nyame, too young to know family, to know pain, hunger, sorrow, separation. Like drum beats pounding from a doomfa to Kumasi, broken echoes of Asante heartbeat separation. Like Mame's eyes, weathered and old, like Fufu, like Banku with the life pounded out. Separation, fire coursing under skin, throbbing skin like dirt hides fire, burning, scorching, dried out and parched and starving water, swelling brings life to the dying roots like tendrils catching, twisting, pulling together. Nyame willing, fire touches water and hisses, like rain touching desert, like red coals to bare feet, like the sound of whips, for they grab and cling on naked skin as if they were babies, clinging to the backs of their mothers. Nyame willing, water touches fire and calms, pacifies, soothes as if the fire had never known thirst and the water apathy. They dance, clouds of steam twisting and coiling like thick braids woven together by worn hands. Natural and new and special, they sing. Bases erupting as if they wish to fill the ocean with their voices alone. Altos like molasses, rich, silky, smooth sopranos carrying over as if wondering if they could soar high enough to sweep over the peaks of mountains. They laugh, they scream, they wail, they rejoice, for here, here is home.